Hi everyone, it's Anne with your reading for the week starting the 29th of November. This is the reading for Scorpio and I'm using my brand new teacup tarot deck. So let's get on with your angel homework for a really positive week. And your overall energy here is the Queen of Wands. And the energy associated with this card is manifestation. It is success. It's confidence. Yes, I can. Here's a confidence boost if ever there was one. And if we look at the queen here, look, she's sitting reading a book and she's just thinking that she might like a pot of tea and a cake. So she just manifests it there and then. One little movement of the wand and here they are. She can manifest at will. She knows exactly what she wants and she says, you just watch me. That's exactly what I can do. So that's a really, yes, I can. I can do it. And watch me energy. So a lovely overall energy for you this week. Your help or your hurdle to hop over. The five of coins reminds you to get your focus in a really positive place. It reminds you to ask for any help if you need it. And look at the angel here, look, she's busy looking at the empty piggy bank. She's starting to think that she actually doesn't have enough. When in fact, she's sitting on three coins and she has another two coins right behind her. She just needs to turn around and focus or stand up and she'll realise actually how well she's doing. So stay focused on the positive and look at what you do have. Get your focus in a really good place. Your guidance here. We have the beautiful card number 13. It's the card of new beginnings. It's the card of transformation. It's the card of brand new starts. And look at the angels here. They're standing there and all the butterflies are coming out of the chrysalis. This is a new start. Those little caterpillars, there are some tiny little caterpillars on the card, if you can see them. They've transformed into these beautiful blue butterflies. It's a time of new beginnings taking flight. And this energy is right here for you this week. How can we help ourselves? We've got the page of teacups. Now the pages bring information. And each of the page cards in the deck has an envelope on it. And here it is here with the page of teacups. So you might get some information about an emotional issue. It might be a text. It might be an email. It might be a love letter. But there's information coming for you. This also suggests a new partnership almost here. This could be the first tentative steps towards that new partnership, meeting someone new. It can mean a new home. It also asks you to trust your ever strengthening intuition. Know that it's there, do what feels right. And take notice of that information coming in for you. Pulling it all together, we have another page card, two in one reading. Now the page of wands brings you information about new projects, about new creative ideas, about new ways to do things new job, it could be a new career, it could be all this information coming in for you. So be ready to take notice of it, be ready to listen to it, look out for it. But this page here, she's really excited. These new creative projects are right there, they finally arrived for her. 
the outcome card here, the four of pencils, reminds you that after all this busy time, take time out, have a rest, have a break. Look at the angels here, they're in these little hammocks. They're having a cup of tea, they're reading a book, they're stepping back, just recharging their energy levels. They're making decisions later. They're making sure that they are well rested and well balanced. So they're ready to move forward with this lovely energy that's coming in. So just to summarize for you. Oh yes, you can. Manifesting just what you want. It's right there for the taking. This strong energy is right here for you. The queen of wands knows exactly what she would like and she can manifest it simply and easily because she's learned how to do it and it's easy now for her. So manifesting what you'd love, what you really want is here. Focus on success, focus on the positive, embrace those new beginnings when they come for you and take notice of new information coming in, new emotional experiences coming in to find you. New opportunities are here, creative projects, new ideas. It's all starting, the information's gathering right here for you. So listen to it and be ready to move. And remember, whilst all this is going on, stay balanced. Have a rest if you need it. Take some time out. Just have a break. And then you'll remain balanced and energised and ready to enjoy this beautiful new start that's right here for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.